I know, give me one second. Hello you guys, welcome to another vlog, another day, another vlog. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? It is currently 81 degrees in New York City right now. Listen, if you don't know, 81 degrees here is basically summer. Winters in New York City used to be way longer. It used to be super cold even in April. So the fact that it's 81 degrees right now, we are gonna be outside. You guys will see everyone and their mom is gonna be outside today because when the weather is nice in New York City, people don't know how to act. Including me. So we're gonna go on a little hot girl walk. I'm also gonna take Miss Pika my cat who's currently sleeping we're gonna wake her up and we're gonna take her outside too because you and I my cat we're all enjoying this nice weather let's go the fit for today you guys already know I had to bring the crop top out crop top from white fox parachute pants from garage I also need to do a little grocery shopping because your girl is gonna cook tonight yes we are cooking who is she and the essential of course you always need headphones on a hot girl walk before I head out I'm gonna take miss little Pika on a walk we're still trying to get her used to her leash so she's practicing okay be nice So you guys, I used to come here all the time. This specific juice shop, all the time in college. They have so many different types of smoothies, but my favorite one is this one. The Pink Lady, fire. If any of you guys live in New York City, highly recommend you stop by here. Thank you, have a good one. Bye. Mm. I've been really getting into cooking and I've been getting better at it. So we are gonna cook together. We're gonna be making a homemade chipotle steak bowl. I made it once before and it tasted bomb. So hopefully I don't mess up in front of you guys. <laughs> Are y'all ready to eat? I'm gonna put a nice ambiance on for you guys. Ooh, it's called 4K Cozy Bedroom in New York City with jazz music. Ooh, I wish my apartment looked like that. Not me living in a New York City apartment, staring at someone else's New York City apartment. Pika likes it too, look. It's nice. I also got this Limoncello La Croix. I think that's how you say it. Cheers. Hello vlog! 
Say hello. Hi vlog. Uh, We're eating at this super cute Italian restaurant. I don't even know if you guys can hear me because they're playing music pretty loud. It's a vibe. <laughs> It is a leg day today. We are gonna kill this fire leg day, but first, got my little pre-workout concoction. But look how pretty this color is. This is actually the new flavor of OxyShride. This is a juicy watermelon flavor. I'm so excited to try this. It literally smells like Starburst. It smells so good. I decided to put it in a wine glass to be, you know, a little extra. Cheers. Mm. It literally tastes like Starburst. I'm gonna do this more. I feel more fancy and classy with the wine glass. By the way, as always, you can use discount code LENA10 for money off. Bottoms up. God, please protect me from all the envy. Ooh. Okay, let me fix this lighting. I look like a freaking ghost. Lower. Hello? Yeah. Miss girl, I swear you guys, this girl knows every single time I'm filming because when I wasn't filming, she was over there. We're actually gonna get ready for a concert. So it's actually a friend of mine. If you guys wanna check him out, he's an amazing Latin artist. I figured we'd get, you know, ready together. You guys, look at me in my makeup era. Who would've thought, you know? Lena actually becomes decent at makeup and enjoys it. Okay, don't have a mirror, so I have to use this dirty ass mirror here. I feel like I should have something cleaner than this because I literally cannot see a thing. All right, this is a little better. We're gonna use this because this is like... Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is this damn pimple on my face. So every single time I start getting confident in my skin, there's always one to pop up to humble me. Let's have a little heart to heart. Y'all are for real like my online besties. Like I talk to you guys every single day in the comments, in the DMs. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Also, if you're not subscribed. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, recently, I feel like I've been getting a little bit more sentimental because, you know, I feel like I'm getting older. I'm 23 now. I know it's not old, but I feel old. <laughs> and I'm just thinking back to like college Lena, high school Lena. Okay, I cannot tell if this looks super cakey because I'm using this tiny ass mirror, but you guys can let me know in the comments, okay? <laughs> if you were to ask younger version Lena the things I do now and the people I hang out with now and what my life is now, never would have believed you. I never had the confidence or thought I had the ability to start a YouTube channel. You guys made my dream come true. And for that, I am forever thankful and I'm forever indebted to you guys. One of the other things I was thinking about that really changed in my life is me not having to have friends to feel secure. Let me explain, let me explain. I used to be that type of person that I always needed my friends around me. I was so scared of being alone. Like it was like an impending fear. So if you guys know my friend Juan, I remember when we became friends, I literally did everything with him. Went grocery shopping with him, went to class with him, ate dinner with him, breakfast, lunch, everything. I would even ask him to come with me to go do my laundry. I couldn't do normal daily tasks that I should be doing on my own, on my own. I was not an independent girly at all. Did not know how to do anything by myself. Didn't know how to think for myself. And fast forward to now, I live alone, which I never thought I'd be able to do. And I actually enjoy it. Um, I did get a cat, so I'm not sure if that's cheating. <laughs> you guys are a big part to play in why I've become way more independent because now I don't feel like I need to rely on friends so much to talk to, give advice to, to cheer each other up. Now I have a whole community of you guys and I talk to you guys like literally every single day I guess it makes me feel less like I need to have friends around all the time So you guys have taught me so much and I'm so grateful to each and every single one of you Actually a lot of where my friendship insecurity kind of thing stemmed from and like needing to have friends or else I felt lost was because growing up uh, I was typically the only Asian in my class in my friend groups on all my basketball teams And guys this is back when people were less you know culturally aware so me being Korean a lot of people little kid stuff they would like bully you be like you know call you a chink whatever and as a kid I felt like I always had to go the extra mile to make friends this is going even deeper but I felt like I had to like hide the fact that I was Asian and try to cover that up with like my extrovert personality in order for these people to be friends with me oh my gosh 
gosh, why are we getting so deep? <laughs> I always felt like it was really hard for me to make friends. And so when I would make a friend, I felt like I had to do everything with them. And if I felt like I was losing a friend or about to, it felt like the end of the world. <laughs> and as I grew older, I realized that having a few close friends is better than having 20 plus friends that you're not even close with. I'm gonna put you guys on. Okay, this is my duo, not sponsored. Wish it was though, because I use this all the time. These are just individual lash clusters um, from Amazon. And then this is the Lashify lash glue. I don't even get extensions anymore. I only wear these. It's way cheaper and it looks great. I was listening to this podcast of this mixed race person and they were talking about how they felt too black for their white friends and too white for their black friends. And when he said that, I actually really related to it. Just growing up, always being the minority, I always felt way too Asian for my friends. But at the same time, I felt not Asian enough for other Asian people. Growing up being the minority was hard at times, but I would say that I would not change it for the world now because I feel like a lot of the reason why I'm very open-minded and have a lot of knowledge about other cultures and other music is because I was introduced to other cultures growing up. So honestly, it's something I'm really grateful for. Look at the difference. Lashes, no lashes. Oh my God, we gotta go. All right, I talked way too much. I'm gonna let this bake and then we're gonna head out. <laughs> oh my god, what are you warming up for? Failure? <laughs> so guys, we're here at the dance studio. Say hi. Hola. Say hi. Um, and we're here because we are taking a bachata class together. We're gonna learn bachata because... Lina's gonna learn how to dance bachata. No. You're gonna learn, yes. actually. <laughs> He's Dominican, but you know... He's ass. I think the dance skills no, no, no. didn't pass down correctly. Because I sit down for work too much. I don't, I don't have time to move my hips. Well, they're a little frozen right now. <laughs> I know the basics. I just need to learn a few, you know, extra skills. Me and the trainer are gonna help Lena out with that. <laughs> you need the trainer. I've never taken a dance class before, and the only place I really dance is by myself in my room in front of you guys or at the club with my friends. So this was definitely very different for me, but I actually had so much fun. Our instructor was so nice and super patient with us. He really just went over the basic basics, which was helpful because my boyfriend and I honestly have two left feet. But by the end of it, we pretty much got the hang of it, and we were even learning how to like twirl and spin. So like, yes, we love the growth. We definitely will be back for more lessons because we definitely need it. <laughs> I'm 